Welcome to 2010. I like 2010 because we've been saying, we said, you know, 18 something, and, and now then it was 1910, and so 20 makes sense. Uh, and uh, we have just a clear night, mostly clear night. There were a few clouds throughout the course of the day. Patrice, welcome back, Patrice, by the way. Um, we were, were talking that uh, during the day today, you know, it wasn't so bad. The sun was out, but you go outside, and then you find yourself, uh, if you're out there for any length of time, it gets really cold. And that's what I was trying to tell you earlier, is to uh, make sure if you're going outside, just plan that something might happen that will keep you outside for a greater length of time. And so don't just go out in a shirt or, or you know, slippers. Dress appropriately if you go outside. The east coast of the United States is about to get clobbered. In fact, they're, they're right now dealing with some very inclement weather. And also out here to the west, uh, we have a developing storm system. But where we are here in the middle part of the country, just think of it this way. Think of a line of people, and then a very large person just tries to squeeze in line. And that's what's happening here. And that's why it's windy out here to the east and why it's windy out west. The current temperature in Fargo is 16 degrees below zero. That's the actual temperature. It is two above in Minneapolis. Terre Haute now reporting 15. And so we've got this really cold air wedging its way into the middle part of the country and just kind of pushing away some of that more mild air. We've got some snow up around the Great Lakes. They're used to that. And so if you know somebody up around Oh, Michigan City or Muskegon, Michigan, someplace like that, they're probably going to be dealing with some snow. What about us? Not through the weekend, Saturday and Sunday both. With this cold air wedged in, not much is going to happen. It'll be clear, and you can, you can actually see the influence here of this very cold air, which tends to also be quite dry. Now, we look into the rest of the weekend, and that system out to the west will try to make its way in, but this high is going to be so in place that I think it's probably not going to be until late Wednesday before we really start to move the high out and maybe a little warmer conditions and then maybe a chance for some precipitation. Uh, that'll be toward the end of the week. Robinson 19, Vincennes has 20. It's 14 in Chicago, 15 in Terre Haute. And of course the wind speed 7 to 15 miles per hour. And we've even had wind gusts in Paris of 20 miles per hour. So uh, wind chill temps right now in the single digits or below zero. Zero. 7 for the overnight low tonight with a northwest wind to 14. A bright moon, breezy with a wind chill of at least 5 below. And then for tomorrow, a high of 17. Sunny but cold and a sharp northwest wind. There will be wind chill danger. And then for tomorrow night, a low of 5. Clear and cold, not quite as breezy. And the 7-day forecast, well, look at that. Uh, temperatures in the teens for the weekend into the first part of the week. Warming up midweek and maybe a chance for snow.